Hello everyone, this is Anishu and in this video, I will be explaining you on how to create a Morse code blink program. The objectives that are needed to be cleared in this video are to create a modular program for blinking the inbuilt LED of the Arduino by using the Morse codes. Uh, to do that, the user must give inputs to the program and accordingly, the program shall blink the LED. The user doesn't need to upload the program more than once in any scenario, so the code must be interactive. Materials that are required for this project are Arduino Nano push button, a breadboard, jumper wires and Arduino IDE to write the code. First of all, let's get a brief introduction on what are MOS codes. They are a method of transmitting text information using uh, sequences of two different signal durations, typically represented at do as dots and dashes or uh, short and long signals. Named after Samuel Morse, the one who invented the telegraph. Duration, uh, durations in Morse codes. Uh, the dot duration is one unit. The dash duration is three units. The inter element spacing is one unit. The inter character spacing is three unit. And the inter word spacing is seven units. Finally, it is time for the code explanation for making the program. This code is made in Arduino IDE using C++ language. Let's begin by understanding the key components of the code. This uh, program defines a set of constants, variables and functions to achieve the Morse code blinking functionality. Uh, we start by defining the important constants. The LED pin represents the pin uh, connected to the built-in LED. The button pin represents the pin for the push button. The Morse unit duration defines the duration for a single unit of Morse code. Next, we have the variables. The blinking variable tracks if the LED should blink. The blink input stores the user input and the last button press keeps the track of time of the last button press. Moving on to the setup function, we begin the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. This allows us to interact with the program through the serial monitor. We then set up the LED pin as an output and the button pin as an internal pull-up resistor. The important step is attaching an interrupt to the button pin. This interrupts uh, help us to stop the blinking when the button is pressed forcefully. Now coming to the loop function, when blinking is true, we enter the user input section. Here we read uh, the input character by character and call the alphabet morse function to blink morse code patterns. After blinking a character, we add a delay between letters to ensure proper spacing. Once the blinking is done, we provide instructions for the user to enter a new name and set the blinking to false. Coming to the blink user input function, in this function, each element of the given user input is uh, read and accordingly the internal LED of the Arduino is blinked. The dot and the dash functions basically defines what happens in the Morse code pattern itself. Now let's discuss the Morse code functions. Each letter of the alphabet has a corresponding Morse code pattern defined using the dot and the dash functions uh, and with the final dot and the final dash function. Also a space character uh, is added uh, with longer delay to indicate the end of a word. Lastly, uh, coming to the interrupt function which handles the button presses, it prevents the rapid interruptions by impl implementing a debounce mechanism. If blinking is active, it's stopped and the input is cleared. And that's the detailed breakdown of the Morse code blinking program. It is a creative project that combines coding and electronics to communicate through blinking lights. Now it is time for a demo video in which I will show you how the program works. First of all, what we need to do is uh, set up our Arduino Nano, the button pin and connect it to our PC. The button pin is connected to the Arduino Nano through the ground and the D2 pin. Now what we need to do is select the Arduino Nano 33 IoT board in the Arduino IDE and upload the code into the Arduino. Now as we press the button here, the serial monitor will show a prompt to ask for, for the name from the user. Now let's give it some sample name. Let's say suppose Sam Kumar. 
Now let's click enter. The prompt has changed and is now showing the name Sam Kumar. At the same time, the inbuilt LED of the Arduino Nano is also blinking. The blink has completed and the serial monitor is now showing a prompt saying that we need to click the button again to enter a new name. Now let's test that. I have clicked the button once again and again the serial monitor is uh, showing the prompt to ask for the name from the user. Now let's enter another name. Let's say Vikram. The prompt has changed. Similarly, the LED is blinking yet again. Now, what if I want to interrupt it? I will press the button again. As I pressed the button, the serial monitor prompt has changed and now it is showing the code is interrupted. And it is also showing another prompt asking for the user to enter a new name by clicking the button once again. Now let's do that and click the button once again. Again the prompt has changed and the serial monitor is asking the user to enter another name. With that I have shown you a modular and reusable code for the MOS Blink program. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.